welcome to Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. Today we're going to talk about making a feather pillow using down off of ducks. We have been uh, gathering feathers this entire season and we're getting ready to make a pillow. I think we've got enough now to make either one very large pillow or maybe one pillow and then some feathers for next year for um, a second and third. But we're pretty excited about that. I'm going to show you how to pluck a duck. It's just one more thing that you can gather from the woods and use to make something that you can enjoy your whole life. So are you ready to make something neat? All right, let's do it. The down feathers are the, the feathers on the breast here. And then as well as there's a thin strip of down feathers here on the back. You just pick them up like that. And you can see they're just real dense feathers. It takes a lot of ducks to make one pillow, um, but it's worth saving the feathers because if you enjoy duck hunting and, and all that, it's just something in addition to the meat, you know, that you can utilize on the duck. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's just some feathers on the back. We got all the feathers off the breast. You want to make sure you don't get any of the longer feathers uh, in there because they have these, these splines here that are pretty stiff so they'll want to poke through the pillow. Um, so just be cautious of that. Um, it takes probably, probably 40 ducks to make one pillow. 40 average sized ducks. This is a mallard so it's kind of a larger duck it wouldn't take as many but um anyhow so that's how we get the feathers and then we'll uh, talk about how to make the pillow all right so we're ready to start the pillow making process and I am going to take a shortcut and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna actually use a pillowcase that I bought from a thrift store and what's nice about this is I've already got two sides that I can keep and use as my starting place. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten this other side so that um, ultimately I have a smaller pillow than what the um, twin pillowcase will fit. And I'm gonna leave the top open uh, and that's where we'll fill it. got the feathers in the pillow and now I'm going to sew the end. I went ahead and I already pinned it um, so now I'm going to sew it. Alright, before I get all crazy I'm going to try and put this into a pillowcase and see if I'm liking the size because the worst that would happen is if it ends up just being too big and it's just a pain in the butt to try and get into a pillowcase. So let me check that real quick. Ooh, I'm super excited. Okay. All right. We're ready to wash. I started washing the pillow this morning. I went ahead and I did a cold wash first and kind of a soak in order to break up any blood or anything like that that was on the pillow and then let that drain. And then I did a warm cycle and if anything, it was very, very um, cool, not a, a hot by any means. So more cold than hot. 
and added a little bit of dish soap to kind of break up some of the oils and um, any other filth that might be on those feathers. And then I washed it on a very gentle cycle for half the amount of time, stopped it, let it soak, um, did it a little more uh, of the gentle cycle, flipped it over um, and kept kind of repeating that, flipping it over because the feather pillow doesn't want to stay in the water. Uh, ultimately, there was um, probably three or four flips in addition to the initial soaking in cold water and draining. And once it was also done, that water after the the final wash, if you will, it was, it was pretty yuck. Um, when it finally did the rinse, it looked good. It smelled good. We are ready to sew the outer case of the homemade pillow and I already measured my fabric and ironed it so that I could get really crisp edges, make sure I have good lines and now I'm getting ready to sew. I'm going to sew, I only have to sew two sides before I put my pillow in. Um, one of them I use just by folding the fabric over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ready for the last touches, um, I'm going to sew this end shut. Uh, before I do it though, um, I am going to make sure that I pin my corners of my two pillows together, or two pillow cases together, so that they um, want to stay together always and the pillows aren't wanting to shift around. So I've already done these two corners, I'm going to get this part um, essentially done with the exception of a little area for my hands so that I can squeeze in and get those other two corners and then we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get this guy finalized. Awesome. Yeah, I don't mind those corners at all. Uh, now I'm wanting that area to fluff out. It's looking really beautiful. All right, the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run one more stitch along this end to just ensure it doesn't come apart. But other than that, we are done. The moment has finally arrived for Fern to open up this present. Must be some deer sticks or something. What are you talking about? I don't the know what video a duck that you made, is. guys? Oh, that's why you're videoing, because you want to put it in the duck pillow no. video. Wait, what is it? Oh, the down. Oh. Uh, that was just to keep it fresh. Look at it. It's perfect. Does it feel like a down pillow? It's awesome, guys. Wow, guys. Do you love it? Is oh, it great? It's crazy. Yeah, Wait, that's yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. And your ducks, right? Like, uh, the, yeah, our ducks. My, uh, your sheet. Cake. That's handy. All right, um, so let's sleep. Let's see how it feels when you put your head on it. Yeah? Right yeah. Just lay on it real quick. <laughs> so you're the first person to get a duck pillow. And I might replace one. You know, it has a little bit of a, you know, old fashioned smell. <laughs> oh, well, it was in the cedar chest for a long time. Oh, yeah. So is that what you're smelling? Yeah. Yeah. It, once it gets a new pillow, so it'll wear out. It'll be right. All right. Do you want to yeah. close out for me, please? <laughs> Thanks for watching Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. We'll see you next time. I'm going to sleep.